there are many awesome moments in all our lives. And I'm sure every minister of the gospel will tell you that there have been very stunning moments in their ministry. I have to say in all honesty, this is perhaps one of the most stunning. Because when you hear St. Paul describe the world in which you're about to enter, saying things like, love is never jealous, love is never irritable. Why do I say that this is a stunning moment? Because it really is, if you listen for the final time before you take your vow, to what not your family's advice and expectations, which I'm sure has been given in 10,000 different forms on both sides, but when you hear, you know, what are God's expectations of us? You hear him say, why I'm putting the bar of marriage love so high is because I want you to have what I have. I mean, it's, it's kind of like, gee, Father, all we want to do is get married. But that's what's being said. God would share his enthusiasm and his love for you and now he wants you to do this for each other. It's not just we're in love and we will live and please God, God will bless with a family. No. You heard Jesus say, I want you to lay down your life for each other. And that's why in the nuptial blessing you hear those final words. Spouses must love each other as Christ loves his bride, the church. You couldn't, you couldn't dream of a higher vocation. You couldn't, you couldn't imagine a more drastic and stunning calling in life. That God, his expectation is not just that we will be in love but that we will spend the rest of our lives still trying. I would hope that everybody married back there, regardless for, as for how many years. This, this is why, and I think Bob Hope used to tell the story of how he never got used to loving his wife. He told the story of when his pals would be over playing poker and they'd be, you know, in the smoke filled living room or whatever. He said when his wife would come out from the kitchen with sandwiches and coffee and so on, he would always stand up and he would always make her sit at the table because, he says, I never got used to the idea that love could be that wonderful. And that's why I really do believe that his spouses understand that being in love is not enough. That their calling and the reason for being married is to love each other as they believe God loves them is the fulfillment of what Christ's invitation. I don't call you slaves, I call you friends because I want you to share in the love that I have for you. And you will do that as husband and wife in God's eyes for the rest of your life. Amen.